there. It is currently February 3rd, and I think that makes it the 28th episode for my Vloguary Daily Vlog Challenge. And of course, uh, it's not daily anymore. It's more like every other day or sometimes every other other day. But either way, it's Monday, and I've got a full day ahead of me here at the Safari Park. I'm about to start my shift. I don't think I'll be doing any vlogging until later tonight or after my shift because it is a full, full day. So uh, that said, let's get into it, shall we? I have to cover my left eye because it's it's mad about something. And I don't know why. I don't think allergies or just what, but like traditional with most of my uh, vlog videos, I'm really tired. Monday kicked my butt, but like in a good way. Like, you know, one of those, one of those really busy days that you're just like doing all the things and things are getting done. And, but then by the end of it, it's just like, uh, I feel like I got punched in the face. <laughs> That's me right now. Uh, we're kicking off a really big project at work. And I'm kind of at the epicenter of it all in the sense of not that I'm that important, but um, I'm kind of the link between two very large organizations to get things going. And it's super exciting. And I'm thrilled to be working with the team that I'm working with again. And just, it's a lot of stuff. And it was such a busy day, but what a great day. And, and now I just feel like I had a whole two or three days packed into one day. So that's kind of where I'm at. Sorry, I look like this. One of the reasons I always look tired uh, in most of my vlogs is because my brain is is much more active than my body, or at least my brain needs less sleep than my body, or at least my brain likes to pretend it needs less sleep than my body. So even like last night, I was really tired, got into bed about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, knowing I had to get up early today. My brain just would not shut off thinking about the things that I'm going to get to do today and all the stuff I need to accomplish and all that. And it wasn't like anxiety panic, which does happen sometimes, but it was more just like a super like, ooh, excited, got to get this stuff done. I can't wait to get up and going. And so, yeah, so I'm tired. And then I get up early and I work, 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 work. And then, you know, usually by eight o'clock at night, I get the second wind and I just stay up even later, get more stuff done. So that's why this face is always so tired looking. But, um, you know, today was a great day. And it was one of those days that, that got me thinking about, you know, just um, being grateful. And I know that kind of sounds weird. It's probably a weird leap there, but just hang with me for a second. As we head into Thanksgiving, you know, usually November, you see a lot of people on social media or online doing a lot of things for, you know, listing something they're thankful for or having gratitude. And I think it's wonderful. At least there's some time of year that that becomes more of a focus of our life. And I think that's important to refocus on that and then have that. Um, for me today, though, I was starting to think about just everything I have coming up in the next few months and how crazy busy I'm going to be. And, I, and I'm not thinking it in a negative way so much as just like it's just an amazing process to be a part of an amazing project and sorry if i'm being a little elusive it's not officially announced so i'm not going to say what it is but uh, i'll announce it one of these days soon i promise um i guess so for me i was like kind of reflecting and being thankful for the opportunities uh, that i've had thankful for the support that i've had and, and the the ability to see those opportunities really and, and go for it and and have the support from my loved ones and my family and friends and, and anyone else who's backed me on all my crazy ideas and things I want to do and, and taking opportunities, even though if it seems kind of risky. So yeah, I kind of found this place of gratitude on the drive home today and started thinking about um, being thankful and, and that sort of thing. And, and then it dawned on me, it's like, wow, this time of year, we tend not to be thinking about that. You know, it's a, we're closing in on Valentine's Day, which for, you know, you, if you're in a relationship is great and you do all the Valentine's Day things. And if you're not in one, but you'd kind of like to be in one, it kind of is like a crappy day, if I'm being honest with you. I've been there too. And then I've also been on Valentine's Days where it's like I've been single and I was like, you know what? I'm good with this. It's all good. So I guess it depends on where you are in life. Um, on, on if you're having any gratitude heading towards Valentine's Day, but mine's not associated with that. Although I am grateful for the relationship I'm in, that's for sure. Um, gosh, I'm kind of all over the board, and I'm sorry because I'm tired, so I do that. I, I ramble on, but yeah, today's today's thought for the day is gratitude and being thankful and having the opportunity to to have that conscious thought. What are the things in your life you're grateful for? And you know, I've in all my years, I've had a wide variety of ups and downs and some pretty doozies of downers and challenges and and some good ups as well. And I'm thankful for the fact that I've always had an opportunity to kind of try and find the silver lining and things to be 
be thankful for. So yeah, I hope you have that opportunity. I hope if you're feeling down or if you're having a tough day, um, hopefully you have the chance to have the conscious thought of gratitude and looking around for those things you do have in your life that are worth celebrating and reminding yourself that you should be thankful for. Uh, at least I hope you have that opportunity anyhow. So that's it for me. I've got to close this down and get some editing done and post it so I can get my other work done because I still have a lot of emails to do before tomorrow. So with that, as always, I hope you have a good one, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.